Hello guys and welcome back and welcome if you are brand brand new here, it's nice to have you. Today is going to be my bag collection video, it's overdue and I'm very excited about filming this. If you're interested in watching my shoe collection video, I very very recently filmed that, I'll leave a link just down below or maybe on the screen, maybe I can put it here, let's see. This is just a look at my kind of designer bag collection, you all probably know I have a lot of different designer bags so it's not really going to come as a surprise so I really hope there's no kind of real negative negativity around this as I've seen on other people's bag collection videos. These bags haven't all been bought at the same time, they've been bought over a number of years either with my own money, as gifts, as gifts from brands which obviously is incredible, with discount codes, quite often with duty free as well which saves a little bit of tax which is always nice. So yeah I just like luxury bags, luxury shoes and that's what I decide to spend my money on. So hopefully on the same level playing field here and we can just kind of get into this. So with that disclaimer out of the way let's get into looking at some bags. I'm going to kick this off with luggage and my larger bags. Let's start off with this bad boy. This is the Chanel Jumbo Boy Bag. I like a lot of things from Chanel. I'm not the biggest, biggest, biggest Chanel bag connoisseur, but anyway, I bought this around the time when I was doing a lot of traveling and I wanted an on the plane bag that would fit everything in. And I saw this in Hong Kong and totally fell in love with it. And therefore I bought it after that. It's just great in terms of having a laptop sleeve case, which is perfect to fit my MacBook Air, about 13, 15, 13 inch. And then it's got a large pocket here for everything else and then another large pocket at the back plus some areas where I kind of put my passport and my phone. And it also has a little pocket at the back which I generally put my phone in and then get it lost and then I'm freaking out at the airport like where's my phone? And it's because I've put it there by accident. But this is very well loved now, it's probably not quite as clean as it once was but I have got so much use out of it and I absolutely love it to bits. Every time I wear it I get a compliment from someone. It's a huge ass Chanel bag. And it's in canvas by the way, this is a canvas material. And I love it. I, it was honestly such a good choice. Another kind of more luggage piece is the Gucci backpack. By the way, I'll leave all links down below for these because there are quite a number of bags here and then honestly I can't quite remember the names of every single one. All you need to know is that this is a beautiful Gucci black backpack. Front pocket, larger pocket, obviously it's the where you can get everything inside of there. It's got a little pocket in there and an area to put your phone. Nice canvas. I keep bags in it just to kind of fill it out to keep the shape. And then plain on the back. But the thing I love the most about this is the chain straps. I think I saw this bag actually on like Kylie Jenner's Instagram or something. She had the one in red. And um, whilst I don't usually always follow Kylie Jenner's choices when it comes to fashion, I absolutely fell in love with this bag and got it at the airport duty free. So I saved about £300 on this bag. Another very well loved backpack is this one from Coach. This was part of the Coach and Disney range, which was super exciting. I worked with Coach on a blog post around the whole new Disney collection, which is why I was kindly gifted this bag. Totally loved it. I wore it. In fact, it doesn't even look worn. And yet, I wore this all the way around Canada. This was my Canada backpack when I was doing like camping. Like I was in a tent, like you would never know. This literally doesn't even look used. I can't see one sign of wear on this bag. That's weird. Well, it's great. So um, yeah, it doesn't even look used. And I absolutely love this beautiful smooth leather and the cute little Disney print. Another one that's a little larger is this cute bag from Marge. Actually, this is a bucket bag in this burgundy and it's almost a khaki brown stripe with some fringing and again I've still got all the stuffing in it to keep it nice and um, tricky but it's just a black lining. I'm pretty sure you can still buy this if not you can buy very similar ones from Marge. A lot of these gorgeous little bucket bag styles and then and I'm a big fan of the chain straps as well but it's just a bit of a larger bag in my collection. Right next two aren't luggage but they are larger bags in my collection. First being one I've shown to death now it's the Givenchy Antigona in the navy blue shade. This is in the textured leather so it barely ever gets any scratches or anything on it. Again this barely looks that used to be honest and it's very, very well loved. I'll be using this a lot more, I think, over the next few months because it's just that bag that just looks a little bit more ready for the, the winter months, I feel, in the dark and blue shade. It's just a really gorgeous bag, and as I always say, it's very robust. Another larger bag in my collection is this LV Louis Vuitton Capuchine in the grey and brown leather canvas kind of fabric. So yeah, this is almost like a woven canvas cotton fabric with pieces of leather and seeing as it is in more of a white thread I thought I was going to get a lot more. Just looking at this now, 
Again, this doesn't even look that used. And I've used this so much, like what's the bottom line? Yeah, it barely looks used at all. This was actually second hand. I got this from Vestia Collective as I was working with them on a little campaign. So they let me choose a bag, so I chose this one. So again, this was very, very kindly gifted to me. And it's one of my most prided bags. I absolutely adore this bag. It's just absolutely stunning. And it's generally one of my most used picked up bags. I kind of have it ready just to kind of pick up whenever I'm going out of the house. Okay, going a little bit smaller but still kind of day wear bags. The one I wear the most at the moment is the Dior, Dior Armour bag. This was a big purchase I made myself a few months ago. I had been looking at this bag for so long. Ever since it came out, I've totally fallen in love with it and I just hadn't decided on the right colour for me and I finally stumbled upon this more kind of, I'm sure it's called Bourguignon, this colour choice, I think. But it's a bit of a kind of raspberry meets oxblood and it called out to me as soon as I saw it and they managed to find me one in this size, which is a medium size which is perfect for me and with the silver hardware which is silver as you know is my colour in terms of jewellery choices so yeah I'm just I'm so happy with it I have no regrets about this bag it's a very kind of perchy perch it's quite a splurge and it's quite a pricey purchase but I have absolutely no regrets of it it's an extremely classic bag that I will keep forever another bag that I bought in duty free so I got a good 20% off this which is great this is a Gucci Dionysus bag in the raspberry floral print I haven't seen this now for a while so I'm not even sure if you can still get it but I'll try and leave a link down below if you can I'm so glad I got this in time though because I absolutely adore it it's again it's one of my most prided bags I still look at this with absolute kind of ultra lust it's so swoon worthy it's gorgeous the colours it looks so elegant and sophisticated and and although it's quite bright and colourful I still feel it'd be quite timeless for me and I'll wear it constantly and people will always know the season that this came out because it's just so statement. Another Gucci is the Gucci Marmon bag in the velvet turquoise. This has gold hardware which works perfectly with the colour of this bag actually. This wouldn't look quite as uh, kind of regal if it wasn't in the gold but the two colours work beautifully together. I've worn this so much in the, for this season actually I've got a lot of wear out of this the camera doesn't quite show up just how green this is it's a much more kind of greeny turquoise you can kind of see it here actually coming out in the colour but this is making it look more blue but it's just yeah it's absolutely stunning I know quite a lot of girls who have this Tamara has this and Amelia has this and I think we've all kind of bought it around the same time when none of us knew each other had got it so it just shows how much everyone absolutely loves this bag so clear winner next up we have the Lanvin Gigi bag in the nude colour. Um, I researched this for so long before I got it because I wasn't sure on what colour to go for and in the end I decided I don't really have any other nude bags and this one is just such a cute classic shape. It's got a lot of space in here as well. It's really great as like an evening bag or a date bag and the nude just means it goes with so many different types of colours. So with like all black outfits this is a really gorgeous sort of brighter piece to wear with those. Again if you're wearing colour like a red dress or blue dress just something a little more subtle to wear with those and the gold just really sets it off it's really pretty and you can either wear it as a double strap to keep it shorter or as a long over the shoulder bag I haven't seen many people with the Lamb and Gigi and I quite love it for that reason because not as many people have it but I feel it's such a gorgeous classic shape another bag that is pretty dear to my heart and I absolutely adore is the Celine box bag again this was a bag that I saved up for for a couple of years and was trying to find the perfect shade and texture and believe it or not back when I was trying to buy this the black textured leather was nowhere to be seen I tried in Paris I tried in America I tried here and nowhere seemed to have it and everyone kept saying it'll be in stock soon it might be maybe six months and I waited and waited and about after about six months actually it finally came back in stock so I was so pleased and it's just a very classic very classic piece I mean Celine in general I feel is a very elegant and classic brand anyway but there is something very very simplistic about this shape that makes it so wearable something I can hand down in years to come and it'll just be that bag that everyone will still love it's just a really beautiful bag it just opens with the clasp and again it's quite got quite a bit of space in here and needs a very good clean now this leather I've got a lot of makeup stains inside of here it's also got a little pocket there at the back too I just don't regret this purchase in the slightest another LV bag this is the Louis Vuitton twist bag I think I saw Sandra from five inch knop who if you haven't seen her before she is incredible she has the most amazing blog. She had this I think but in the larger size and I was just 
so in love with it. She just looks so great and so classy with it. Totally fell in love with it. And again, this was another piece that I got from Vestia as I worked with them on a collaboration. I just absolutely adore this bag. Again, it's just something so statement about it, about this whole twist lot to make the LV. It's just very clever and cute shape. The epi leather that this is made in means that it's just very robust, very sort of thick and non-fragile fabric. So you don't really need to worry about scratching this because it's not ever gonna really scratch. The chance of it discolouring are very slim unless you obviously put pen on it or anything, but I feel this is going to kind of stand the test of time. And when you get inside it, it's not got the most space in the world, I'll be honest. It comes with a little mirror in there. It just about fits my iPhone 6 Plus. You kind of gotta strategically put it in this way. You can't put it in this way or else it doesn't come out. <laughs> and then you can obviously put a few more things there. So I could fit in keys, a couple of lipsticks, eyeliners, things like that in there, but you couldn't really get a camera inside it, let's just say that. But I wear this so much for different events and nights out, things like that. Here I have the Chloe Hudson bag in the black suede. This is another bag that I've worn definitely over summer a lot more because it has a little bit more of a festival boho bohemian vibe going on with it, with the whole plaited embroidery that works all the way across the top. And again, it just fits a nice little amount in, nothing too much. It fits in my phone just about. I've got to kind of put it again diagonally. So that gives you an idea of kind of sizing. But festivals and nights out and events, it's been quite a good little go-to. These come in so many different colours as well. They're a really lovely design for Chloe. One of my favourites, I think, that they've done for the recent seasons. Another Chloe bag. This is the Chloe Faye. When everyone went a little bit crazy over the Chloe Faye, I kind of felt like I needed one. I wasn't as keen on the larger version, so I went for the small one. And it is super cute. And I'm really enjoying the colours they're bringing out recently they're bringing out like baby blues and very kind of lavenders and things like that and they're all really pretty and they've also got them in backpack versions which are beautiful but I went there for this one in the fay which you could also wear easily as a nice little clutch there's something very sort of mature about this shade this tan shade with like a camel coat or a beigey kind of cream coat this is just something you could pop under your arm and it feels really nice and Quite autumnal in the shade as well. And another Chloe bag, this is the Chloe Jane Messenger bag. I believe this was gifted to me from a brand I was working with that's Dr. Chloe quite a little while ago now actually, which is amazing. And this again was a great one for summer with all the colours and again the kind of more bohemian vibes. I think Chloe definitely went down that very kind of whimsical, ethereal, bohemian edge with their clothing and their bags, which was beautiful. And not many other designers did that in such a beautiful and wearable way. So I think that's why Chloe was so popular for those the last few seasons. But this just comes on a tan chain with two pockets and it doesn't actually fit a lot of things in here actually. My phone fits easily uh, lengthways, which is quite nice for once. And again, you can fit quite a lot of other things in the other pockets. So I did get a lot of use out of this over summer. Okay, so moving into smaller, more date night evening bags. We're gonna start off with the Chanel Wallet on Chain bag in the dark blue and the herringbone print. This has almost like a little kind of boy bag feel to it, but it's in the wallet and chain shape. And if it's my phone in here, I can get a lipstick in and a key and a credit card. It has little areas to put some credit cards in here. I'm sorry, this really does need a good clean because I use this so much. It's probably my most used evening bag actually. So many people often ask like is it really worth buying the wallet on chain because it's so small and I would highly highly recommend it. It's honestly my most used evening bag. It can easily be used as a cute little clutch and it's also great as a little travel bag as well if you're going to the airport a lot or just on your holidays you can just have it slung over you with your passport in it and your phone and some money and you've kind of got your very essentials just right next to you. I always keep this one in its dust bag. I mean you wouldn't know with how dirty it is but I'll just keep it wrapped up. This one I've mentioned quite a bit recently, it's the Rebecca Minkoff clutch bag. It's just a lovely option really. I wore this a lot on a recent holidays. Just a smooth black leather with these bright colourful tassels just makes it quite wearable and quite fun and it also fits in quite a bit inside this big pocket in there. This is the MCM Patricia bag in the black smooth leather and the silver hardware. Push these in, I've got all these strap tucked away inside. It also has a cute sort of suede orange 
lining can you even see that and it's just got a great structure to this bag it's just it keeps its shape really well because of the type of leather this is it's like a really strong leather it keeps that very small kind of envelope shape really really nicely it's just a very beautiful bag mcm do a lot of very bright and very logo heavy bags but they do do some more understated bags which i absolutely love the beautiful materials and they're just a little bit different i find the last chloe in my collection is the chloe drew bag in the arctic white i think this is again it was a bag that i looked for for a while and couldn't decide on color that's often the thing that puts me off for the longest time it's finding the right color and finally this came out and i fell for it so it's the arctic white with the gold hardware for some reason mine always seems to come out like this and it really annoys me so i always try and tuck it in i try and keep it in my collection like this so that it kind of stays more but it never seems to stay like this i don't really understand so now and again i just have to let it pop out and just wear it like this i mean i don't mind too much but i do often prefer it i mean that one's fine that one's managing so why is it this managing maybe i need to kind of like put more pressure on it i don't know anyway this is such a great evening bag i've worn it for so many different events because it goes with everything again with it being more of a, a neutral tone it's something very elegant about the style of bag again it barely looks used for the fact that it's this colour and I was worried I was going to ruin it, I've not done too badly here, so I'm quite pleased with myself. But I feel the Chloe Drew is one of those bags that is great for people starting to get into kind of more luxury bag collections or just wants to buy their first designer bag. I feel it's something you could wear for so many different occasions, even just going shopping or going out on date nights or going out for an evening meal or even on a night out. I'd maybe go for a black bag if you go for a night out with it. But you know, you could wear it for so many different occasions. This is probably one of my most worn evening bags actually. It's the Anya Hindmarsh crossbody smiley bag, I think. She often has these different emblems and logos. This is the one with a little smile on it. You can still get these now. I'm not sure if you can get the silver quite readily, but lots of different colors now anyway but yeah i think because it's silver again it's gone with so many different types of outfits it'll be great for this time of year again i'll still be wearing this it's my most metallic bag i have so i think that's why i still keep on using it the little ysl blogger bag in the black leather with the black tassel again this is quite small it doesn't fit my iphone 6 plus but it will fit a camera so like an olympus camera for example which is like my vlogging small camera would fit in here perfectly so if i was going out and doing a bit of a job or want to take a camera with me i could just sling this over my shoulder my camera in it and I'd be good to go otherwise it's great just for like your keys your lipsticks those kind of smaller items or an iPhone 6 would fit absolutely fine in here it's just an iPhone 6 plus doesn't fit but again it's just a really lovely bag I think Bulgari is one of my favorite bag brands at the moment everything they make almost looks like jewelry so this bag and the other bags they make it almost is like an extension of their jewelry collection into a more kind of jewelry accessory if you know what I mean this chained serpent chain strap and the fastening on the bag being so jeweled and beautiful and elegant it's just when you wear this you almost feel like you're wearing a piece of jewelry almost it's like quite artistic and it's very luxurious everything that they're bringing out right now is just so stunning and just really elegant and sophisticated but this is the serpentine forever bag in the blue sapphire in a metallic so again it's just a very very wearable shade of blue and I've been wearing it so much. Second to last bag, this is the Coach Dinky bag in the cream with the daisy and gold rivet detailing all over this. This is just a very, very wearable bag and they do so many different colours. Some don't have the embellishment, some they're just like a smooth leather. And I feel again, it's a very easy wearable piece and something that so many people that are trying to get into more designer fashion and really love the designer want to buy their first bag. I really feel this is a really good choice because they're gorgeous leathers, they wear really well, they're really cute, they're a gorgeous shape they don't really age and i mean especially in this style it just makes it quite evening appropriate it's just very cute and just a little bit more affordable than some of the other bags that i've mentioned as well so i think it's quite a good kind of early luxury starter piece really to get and last but not least is the valentino va va voom clutch bag i have this in the cream with the gold hardware and it's a very evening appropriate bag it's perfect for events any more sophisticated evening do's that i'm going to in fact i'm not even taking off this blue strip because I'm still trying to keep it really nice. With this being more of a smooth leather I kind of treat this with the ultimate respect <laughs> so that I don't get anything really on it so I'm trying to keep it in really good condition. Quite a lovely good size to it. Closes with two poppers on the front and then you can kind of hold it like this as a clutch if you prefer and tuck in all of the straps or you could wear it as a double strap 
or as a single strap. So lots of different options. And again, these come in lots of different colours and they're just a very beautiful bag. I mean, this is very kind of iconic Valentino as well. And that is my entire bag collection. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm sorry if it's a little long, but I just wanted to kind of give you a bit of a rundown of each bag really, so that it wasn't too short. Let me know down in the comments which was your favourite bag in my collection. I'd love to know which you think is the very nicest or the very best. If you like the video, then please do give it a like. I would love that and also if you're brand new here and you're watching me for the first time I would love it if you would come back. Just hit the subscribe button on the screen now and come back for two videos a week Wednesdays and Sundays at 7. And that's it for everything today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye! Mwah.